Marine Corps veteran shot inside an Oakland bar is now taking legal action, saying more could have been done to keep him safe. The 11 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2 starts now. A San Francisco man demanding justice and accountability tonight. Hello again, everybody. I'm Frank Malaker. And I'm Julie Hayner. The man's attorneys have filed a lawsuit against the owners of the Oakland Bar where he was shot, as well as the city of Oakland and state alcohol regulators. New at 11 tonight, KTVU's Janet Katsuyama tells us the accusation is negligence for not having effective security measures in place. It was my first time going to Oakland. Mahmoud Berte says it was his friend's birthday, and so they went to celebrate at the Gallery Art Bar on 14th Street in Oakland. But after an hour, Berte says as he walked out of the restroom, he heard gunshots inside the bar. I turned around to see where the sound was coming from, and then all I remember was everything going black. That night, April 17th, 2021, Berte said he got four bullet holes in his right leg, was shot three times in the stomach, and received three bullet holes in his left leg, which had to be amputated. Doctors at Highland Hospital told his family and fiance Tessa they weren't sure he would live. I was in a coma for about a month, approximately a month, and I was in the hospital for more than five months. I had to stay strong for him, so I tried not to like cry by his bad side. Berte says he moved to San Francisco with his fiance to start a new life together. He is a Marine Corps veteran who'd received three medals and said he'd never been shot during military service. I was just out the Marine Corps trying to better myself and get an education. You know. He says police have not found the shooter. Berte's attorneys filed a lawsuit and now are accusing the bar owners, the city of Oakland and the California Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control of negligence. The lawsuit alleges that the bar did not have safety measures in place. They're hiring security guards that weren't licensed or bonded. They didn't have permanent addresses. There were no metal detectors based on what we know to this point. Um, and they should be handheld wands. The Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control did reply to our public records requests. Their investigative report documents show that police had been to the bar at least seven times in the month prior to the shooting for noise complaints and a verbal fight. They said that they don't have no camera footage inside of the bar. How, how you have a whole bar and you don't have no cameras in there. Berte says he just wants justice. Money is not gonna bring anything back is not going to heal what I'm going through. You know, I want accountability and justice, you know. I haven't gotten a sorry, none of that, you know, like nobody reached out to me and apologized, nothing, you know, some humanity. It's like people lost humanity. We became so desensitized to crime. Today, we reached out to the city of Oakland and the building owner, but have not heard from them. Late tonight, the bar owner called and told me that he would like to respond to the lawsuit and plans to meet with his attorney tomorrow before making any comment. And Julie Berte still has multiple surgeries ahead, and he's hoping anyone with information will call police. Yeah, what an ordeal he has been through. Jana, thank you.